Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you uh, to my colleague from Texas. I rise in support of this bill and the examination of the rules and regulations that create uncertainty and increase costs and disadvantage our businesses, farmers, and ranchers. My wife and I were small business owners for nearly 22 years. I know what it's like to sign the front of a payroll check and to deal with the government rules and regulations. Here's a perfect example of what my farmers and ranchers face in Oregon. These are new rules that are coming out from the Environmental Protection Agency um, that are relying on what they even termed as a National Marine Fisheries Service uh, document that was less than transparent. This affects new set-asides if you use modern chemicals and all to grow America's food and the world's food. These are new setback provisions that are being required in buffer zones that could in some cases be from 100 to 1,000 feet along any body of water, including intermittent streams. Now, if you're from sort of the dry side of Oregon, you have a lot of intermittent streams that only kind of flow with runoff and then they dry up. The practical effect, though, is that you could lose most of your farm land. This is an example, run through their models, of what this could mean if this rule goes into effect. And you would take from 108 acres, which is the whole area here, and you would begin to re reduce down the buffers to where you'd be able to farm less than 10 acres. That means that in this farm you could lose uh, upwards of, of this crop field now would produce 21,000 in income. When the federal government's rules, if fully implemented as described here, you'd be down to $1,500. You can't farm if you lose much of your farm ground and you go from 108 acres down to 10. This will occur all over the country, all over eastern and western Oregon, and it is an enormous federal government land grab that could take between 40 and 67% of farm lands would be affected in Oregon. And in this case, it's an 80 3% reduction if taken all the way to the 1,000-foot buffer along these intermittent streams. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to examine this and many other rules and regulations to look at their practical effect on the ground throughout the countryside on the men and women who raise our food and produce the jobs in America. And with that, I yield back my time.